everybody. It's the pastor update for the week of Sunday the 3rd. Um, I'm going to level with you. I don't have a script. I've got all kinds of ideas, things I want to share. Um, but this is, this is just a list of events that are going on. This doesn't even have two minutes. It's empty. There's just so much going on. We've got uh, high school youth group that's getting together uh, this Sunday. And then we've got Cardinal Catholic. They're going out on a missionary trip, and we're getting ready for their spring retreat that's coming up. The penance service is coming up Wednesday, March 13th. Uh, we've got a relics visitation March 16th, and I think the 17th as well. There's a chance to go and venerate these relics and ask for the intercession of saints, which is a big deal. We all need it, but especially since we've got the RCIA retreat that's coming up on March 23rd, and these people really need our prayers. They're making a huge decision, a huge commitment to join the church and become Catholic. They're going to receive the body of Christ for the first time. We've got to pray for them. We pray for our whole community. Support each other. Stations of the Cross is still going on. We're getting ready. We're, we're going to try to have the St. Joseph table on March 19th. But we could use someone to help lead that and pick up some of the slack, get things going together with that. Uh, we've got various fish fries going on. There's one on the 8th for the Scouts, and then the uh, 45th annual St. Francis fish fry. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to have it at St. Francis, so we've moved it over to the Knights of Columbus, but we're going to need volunteers for that, and we'll ask some people to donate some desserts, things like that. We've got Celebrate Marriage coming up in April. I'm really excited about that, because we need to celebrate good uh, marriages, a healthy vocation. That's a really important thing. And the young adults are getting back together, going to be doing stuff starting in May. So we've got all this going on, and it's still Lent. Yeah. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff I wanted to do. Oh, what, what with all our friends, you know, Horatio Eustace Moose and Cornelius Orendal Brown Fine, I wanted them to come in, but they were all too busy trying to get this stuff ready. And who's going to tell you about St. Philemon the actor? That's right. So St. Philemon the actor, he went and he was evangelizing. This is back in the 6th century or thereabouts. He had a deacon with him, Apollonius. They're out evangelizing, and they're supposed to make a sacrifice to a Roman god. Well, they're not going to make a sacrifice to a Roman god. They're Christians. They said no. So they're going to get tortured, right? And St. Philemon, 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 uh, Philemon, let's call him that, right? So he's, he's getting tortured, but his deacon, Apollonius, says, I don't really want to be tortured. I, it's not particularly enjoyable for me, so can we not be tortured? And he offered Philemon a bribe to not get tortured. Philemon said, no, 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 I, I'm not taking that bribe. I'm doing this for Jesus, right? You can torture me all you want. I'm not going to offer a sacrifice to these Roman gods. So they cut off his head. He died. He's a martyr. So Apollonius sees this. He says, you know what? This guy's right. He repents. I don't wish I hadn't offered that bribe. This guy's completely right. Uh, Jesus, number one, all the way. I'm a Christian. Like, oh, sorry, Apollonius. So you don't get to do that. They cut off his head, too. Huh. So there you go. Two martyrs. Pretty exciting. I nearly talked about, I think it's St. Paul the Simple. This guy who's just a carpenter leading his life. And all of a sudden, his wife up and cheats on him. And he leaves. And this guy says, well, you know what? I'm going to go be a hermit. So he goes to be a hermit. But then I think it's St. Anthony says, no, you're not fit to be a hermit. He says, okay, but I'm going to be here. And so he just hangs around and hangs around and hangs around. And he just does whatever he is told. It's just a very simple life. Does what he's told. And he prays. He prays for himself. He prays for the brothers in the community uh, who are sort of the next thing of hermits. I don't know how it works. I've never been a hermit. I live in Muncie. Anyway. He's doing all this stuff, and eventually they say, this guy is amazing, because he's doing what he's told, he's praying for people. He becomes a saint. So we've got uh, St. Philemon the actor and St. Paul the simple. And who knows? This could be you. I don't know. Maybe it could be St. Christine the, 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 the vacuumer. I don't know. Maybe it'd be St. Andrew the puppeteer. Who, who knows? I don't know, but that could be us. So anyway, uh, a whole bunch of stuff that I was going to do, but... Instead, I think I need to take about 10, 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead to the chapel, do some praying, pray for the entire pastorate, pray for all of us, and I hope you get the chance to do that too. Take four minutes, five minutes, pray for all the stuff that's going on, because it's just busy times, right? So anyway, God bless you all. Read the bulletin, check out the website. <laughs>